We just went out to look after ourselves. We weren't too particularly concerned about him and about the other team in so much as if we could be as good as we possibly could be ourselves. That's all we could do, really. Look, there's no recriminations. We were beaten by a better team on the day. There's no complaints in that respect. But we have to heed the lessons uh, from today's Leinster semi-final. We're still in the championship. We have an All-Ireland quarter-final to look forward to uh, at the end of the month. But we're obviously going to have to improve significantly and uh, you know regroup. And that's the challenge for the players and management now in the days and weeks ahead. It was a very blustered breeze out there, and we were kind of conscious of that fact. I think both teams were, but we weren't used to it, the weather after having this summer. So uh, definitely there's a lot to work on, but... Uh, we're just delighted to come up to win, and uh, that's what we've done. We're just delighted to go straight through the front door. I suppose our shooting was wayward, but well, we, we definitely didn't take all the chances we created. But that's part and parcel of the process of going through the championship, you know, and we have five weeks, I think, roughly speaking, to an Ireland semi-final now, and that's the next challenge to be ready for that one. Well, D- Dermot, the man of the match nominees for today, Michael, who are the three nominees? Yeah, um, the first man we looked at was Jackie Terrell. Um, you know, he's been absolutely outstanding for Kilkenny over the last seven or eight years, but um, he was brilliant again today, cleared an awful lot of ball, no matter who came in on him, uh, he was in full command. JJ Delaney, again, you know, consistently over his career, he's been brilliant for Kilkenny in all the big days. And uh, Tommy Walsh, again, uh, on the right half, you say the same thing about Tommy, he's been outstanding. Yeah. It was a huge choice, I suppose, to pick for and Michael Rice had a great game. He didn't in, even get into the in trade. Right. Absolutely. And who gets the award then, Paul? Uh, yes, we, we chose Tommy Welch. Um, I suppose every day he goes out now, it's a man of the match performance. Uh, an all-star <laughs> in the forwards, the midfield and in the backs. Like, against Dublin the last day and again today, I'd say he made a world record of strikes. It's, <laughs> it's phenomenal. Yeah. His positioning is incredible. Teams are trying different things to kind of drag him out right. and even get his temper up, but... Um, you know, phenomenal player. You a fan of Tommy's, James? Des, you'd have to be, you know, yeah. but one thing I like about him, you know, all right, he might take his yellow card, but, you know, it's kind of a necessary thing for him at this stage, you know, I get my yellow card, I settle into the game <laughs> of hurling, <laughs> but, you know, it's his willingness to go after the dirty ball, to cover his teammates, to get around the field, you know, he's always there to support, he's always yeah. there to pick yeah. up the break, he's always in the full back line, there was a couple of incidents today, ball broke in behind, who was the first guy there? Tommy Welsh covering self, unselfish yards, getting back, covering the ground for his teammates. All right, well, let's hear from him then. He spoke to Joanne after the match today. Seamus Highland, the Leinster Council Chairman, is going to present Tommy with his award. Well done, Tommy. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Tommy. How good a performance was that from Kil- Kilkenny today? Um, I don't know. It was, it was very hot out there uh, in Crow Park today, and there wasn't much uh, air to be got. And uh, it was a, a fierce, tough game, you know. And uh, they all was there, so and we got we, we got we got the win, and that's what we wanted to do. That half back line and the midfield seemed to mop up so much ball though today. Um, I think uh, a lot of credit has to go to our forwards today because. Uh, they, they hooked and blocked and not much ball um, came good ball came back into the back so I think our forwards um, when, even when they're not scoring they deserve a lot of credit for, for the amount of work they put in for the team because uh, it, it's fierce important and we do notice it back in the backs. Yeah it must be very satisfactory when you do win the ball and you get it up there that you know something is going to be done with it. Ah, well, you, you, you never know, I suppose, um, but it, it does give you a, a lot of heart there when they're um, not letting their back, the Galway backs out easy with it. So um, uh, we're delighted with, with the way they performed today and it's very, very well done.